So in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, PoE switches and how they are changing to better accommodate installers for longer distances. Uh, your typical PoE switch has a 100 meter limitation, and that's the equivalent to approximately 328 feet. When you need to go longer than that, you either have to use a PoE extender or some other in-between switch to transmit another 100 meters. But now they have these uh, PoE switches with extend mode. And I will show you that right now. Um, I'm going to be showing you some available models from LTS. There's a 4 port, an 8 port, a 24 port, and a 16 port. They are all 100 megabit PoE switches. And they are they all have the ability for what's called extend mode, which is the ability to transmit power and ethernet at 200 meters or 660 feet. Um, so looking at the 4 port, you'll see that it's a four port unit with an uplink and the uplink will allow you to connect to the main network or to an NBR or something else. The uplink is basically the uh, non-powered port whereas these are. The red is an indicator of uh, priority so all four of these ports do have power over ethernet but the red one would be the most important one. Um, this unit has the ability to transmit uh, power on up to 30 watts per port with a total power of 58 watts. So if you have a 30 watt device, I'd recommend putting it here and putting the rest on 2, 3, and 4. They are all surge protected which is ideal for any type of environment that has uh, power issues, surge issues, um, you know, lightning strikes, things like that. While it's not going to protect you against a direct lightning strike, it will help protect uh, damage occurring from surge, from surges, from lightning storms or similar types of activities. Um, these units all have a three-year warranty and as I said they're available in up to 24 ports. If you do happen to use um, or going back to this uh, extend mode, this 200 meter PoE, that's basically a feature that would be turned on using dip switches. If you do turn on that feature you should note that uh, instead of getting a 100 megabit connection uh, from each of these ports, it'll drop down to a 10 megabit per second connection, but you still have uh, an uplink of gigabit using um, either the TCP IP or uh, the uh, SFP fiber. And it really wouldn't make a difference if you're using 10 megabits or 100 megabits on these PoE ports because the majority of cameras on the market are limited to less than 10 megabits per second anyway. Um, if you have any other additional questions, feel free to give us a call at 877-DEAL-79 or visit our website at www.edigitaldeals.net.